Guys, check out this fog behind me. This is this is crazy. So it's about 8 a.m. here. I am never up this early. I got like three hours of sleep. I'm a night owl. I was up all night editing. But here we are, and the reason we're here is because we're at a coffee shop to film the roasting process. I'm gonna do a bunch of B-roll of them roasting coffee. Uh, Cody Warner threw out this challenge a little while back here now. It wasn't really an official challenge. It was just like, hey guys, go out, find a coffee shop, and film. Car. Go out and find a coffee shop and film because it'll help you get to know your community better and coffee's awesome and you get practice filming and making B-roll. And I was all like, I do that all the time anyway, but I will take your challenge, Cody Warner. So here we are. This is the morning, this is the day. We're gonna do some B-roll and then maybe I'll give you guys a couple tips. Just see what happens. There he is. Going. Roaster in action. It's happening right now. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at Leap Coffee and we are getting ready to shoot some awesome roasting with my buddy Asa. However, I still haven't had coffee this morning, and on four hours of sleep, that's a necessity. So it's about time we make some coffee. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time All right, we have made our coffee and now it is time to start the B-roll segment. So my first tip when you're starting to shoot B-roll is to first stop and just watch whatever your subject is doing. You need to understand the process of what you're filming before you even start so that you know what the important parts of the process are. So sit, watch, see what's going on if you have that option, and then also talk to the person that you're working with or that you're shooting and say, hey, what are the elements of this that are really important? Because I'm not a coffee roaster and I don't know anything about coffee roasting, so I need to find out what moments I need to make sure that I capture before I even start. But before we move on to the next tip, let's see some B-roll. I never think I always do. Never thought I would jump. Oh, what a fool. But if I fall, I will get up again. So that was the B-roll. Had to throw in a Cody Warner jump there for you because, you know, it was his challenge. So as I'm sure you guys know and or could tell from the B-roll, I'm not the king of B-roll. I'm not super great at this, you know? I've learned, I've done it for a while and I think it's okay, but like, I'm not the end all be all of B-roll. But I do have a couple tips for you guys if you guys are beginners or just do like talking vlogs and you guys want to start to implement a little bit of B-roll into your stuff. 
I'm gonna give you a couple tips for that. So my first tip is to shoot at different focal lengths. I see so many people just have a wide angle lens and they're shooting everything just on wide, 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 wide. And that doesn't cut together very well. It doesn't look very cinematic. So if you have a zoom lens or you have different lenses, really shoot at different focal lengths. Go wide, shoot at that 18, and then zoom in to that 55 if you have that classic 18 to 55, or if you have an 18 to 135, even better, shoot 18, shoot a nice shot at like 50, 55, and then get that close up at 135, and those are all gonna cut together really, really cool. The next tip going along with that is to find weird angles. You don't just wanna shoot like here, like where your eyes are, and shoot everything from here. Really, get down low, get on the ground, get behind stuff, put things in the way of a lens. Like, you gotta mix it up so that the viewer doesn't get bored. If it's just all kind of the same style shots, it's like, eh, yeah. but when it's like here and here and here and here and here, it looks really cool and it's like blah, 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 blah. So, definitely try to do that. So one of the super trendy things right now is in-camera transitions, and I'm not gonna teach you guys in-camera transitions because I kind of suck at them, I'm learning, but Jesse Driftwood, who is the king of in-camera transitions, just released a tutorial on it, which is incredible. I learned so much from his tutorial, so I will link to that. Go watch Jesse Driftwood's video on in-camera transitions if that's something that you're into. And my last tip for this video is the color grade. In post-production, you can push B-roll footage a lot further than just like regular talking footage. So really give it a specific look. Go, your, here's your talking head, and then boom, you're dropping down into a really specific B-roll, intense, sharp, clear, cool color look that you're gonna show this B-roll segment, and then you can kinda come back to the normal daily talking color, and that really like separates it from the rest of your vlog and makes it really intense and epic. Hi. <laughs> vlog life. Don't mind me. <laughs> all right guys, that's it. Ace is back there, back there. Still roasting, still getting that coffee all ready for uh, all the customers, all the stores, all the places that he uh, roasts for. But uh, that's all for me. I hope those tips helped you. I normally don't make tutorials because I'm not the best at all of this filmmaking stuff. I'm still learning myself. But if you're a beginner, I hope it helped and I'd love to see kind of what you guys create if you've used, utilized any of these tips in your vlogs. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hang out on the channel. You know I love comments. Leave a comment. Love you guys, bye.